Lighting up lofters has become all in a day's work for Kurt Lee Aronsa. We now take you back to just one season ago and a day out with his club teammate Sidney Tobias. Before South Africa got to witness this young wing make the Springboks, score a dozen international tries and captivate the rugby world. Hey, I'm Kurt Lee Aronsa and I play for the Vodacom Pools. I'm an outside back, welcome to my turf. So I started playing rugby at the age of eight years old. Played my first game for my primary school, Polo Schubert. After that game, I decided this is what I want to do when I grow up. And uh, I'm still enjoying playing rugby. I uh, got the call up for the Sevens Academy. And uh, from there onwards, my journey started with the uh, Sevens. Yeah. So I got the opportunity to join the Bulls on the loan. I mean, there's a lot of history on this field. I mean, guys like Swiss Van der and Mone Stein for Rie Dupree playing on this field. And now it's just amazing falling in those guys' footsteps. So, yeah, it's just incredible. Hi, I'm Sydney Tobias and I play hooker for the Vodacom Bulls. So my love of rugby started from a young age. Uh, my dad was the first player of colour to play for South Africa for the Springboks, Errol Tobias. When I was old enough to understand the ins and the outs of rugby, obviously that love grew when I went to a big school like Paul Ruiz and from there I played for Western Province and I've been uh, in England and Italy and currently plying my trade here at the Vodacom Bulls. So last year when I got invited, it's actually when my relationship started with Kurt Lee. You know, he was one of the first guys to like open up to me and uh, be friendly in that way. And uh, from there, our relationship actually grew. I consider him one of my closest friends now. You know, his positivity is something that just draws you closer to him. And um, it's encouraging to see one of the younger players being so grounded and humble. So uh, Sydney and I, uh, we jump together, uh, especially on off days. Uh, we, come in, we come into the gym and uh, do a bit of extras. He always push me to the next level and uh, he's, he's a great friend of mine. Um, yeah. First, we're going to do uh, leg extensions. It helps me uh, get over the advantage line, especially when I play against uh, bigger guys. And the next thing is we're going to do the explosive machine. It helps um, getting beat your man, especially on the field. And then um, the sledge is just to improve your speed. Our exercise routine on a Monday looks like we will do a flush out. Tuesdays we will do a, a man up or a tempo session. And then Wednesdays we're off. Thursdays we will do another man up session. And then if we play on Friday, we will prepare for the game. Or if we play on Saturday, then we will do a captains on Friday and then we'll play on Saturday. Between URC games in foreign cities, the guys are loving the food and coffee of Europe and the UK. But it's hard to beat the home ground advantage of Wayne Vermeulen's cafe. Now I must say this is a beautiful place we have here. Um, and I hope uh, the coffee is as beautiful as it looks here. Yeah. No, my kid, I had the Rossi's own coffee. And I think mm. that's time for us to have a little competition there. I want to smash you. I'm ready for the challenge. Let's go. Let's Great go. guys. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you. Uh, thanks, John. Good. I'm going to show you how to make some cappuccinos. I'll put just my milk, heat my cup, put just my shot, then I froth the milk, then I pour the cappuccino. Well done. It's a picture of the, of the Earth <laughs> from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> Kurtney's run as a Springbok has been a revelation. His cappuccinos, not so much. Let's see if Kurtney has BMT. Yes! <laughs> Mine looks better than us. No, there's no foam or front. Yeah, oh, man. It doesn't look too bad, Curtis. Well, what, what are you going for here? Yeah, see, it, it almost looks like a, a cloud. I don't know. Yes. I, I can't see it, but, what, what, but uh, what's that? This, is, like this a, is abstract art. It looks like a bicycle. Right? <laughs> <Is> it <like laughs> a, it does look it. like a bicycle, eh? Sure. Better foam, temperature, more or less the same. So, which one is better? Ah, go for this. Oh, thank you, John. Ah, well done. Well done. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Wayne. Wow. Well done. When it comes to what the guys can eat, they're on different planets. We don't follow a strict diet. Um, we're just working hard and uh, enjoy uh, whatever food we, we can eat. And yeah. I think what Kurt Lee is saying is actually more applicable to the backline players. But the tighties and the, you know all the forwards need to look what they actually consume and uh, we try and limit the calorie intake but uh, I mean we're not so much genetically blessed as, as most of the backs are. 
any and all grievances will then come by a very zen hour spent with Imogen Murray. Certainly, I think I'll definitely beat you on this. Are you trying to make up for the for the coffee yeah, no, competition's loss? I'm ready. Okay, we can, let's and go. Look at the yellow flowers. It looks so uh, beautiful. There's not a right or a wrong of compiling a so bunch. So no winners, Kathleen. No, you can just okay, no, I'm, I'm okay you can with just it. relax. What you normally do, you need a focus point with a bigger flower, and then we do some fillers, and then we will take some of the greenery around it and then we can bunch it. We need also what gives it a nice flare is this grass. Wow. So we can put it like over here. Oh, okay. Okay. And now we're gonna bunch it. Looks pretty. Yeah, now I must say um, it was uh, good to arrange the flowers and uh, to see the end product uh, looks uh, absolutely amazing. I made the flowers for my mother. She definitely deserves this flower. She's a beautiful lady and uh, I think she'll appreciate it. And my flowers, I'm still deciding either my wife or my little daughter. Uh, I think the wife is going to get these spoils today. If you have a feeling for, for flowers, definitely. Is it? Uh, yeah, is it more or less the same as like with a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In my career, I'm really looking forward to uh, just to grow as a person and uh, hopefully one day I can play for the Springboks and um, yeah, just enjoy my rugby. Mission accomplished. Now for Curtly's next bouquet. A hopefully lovely selection of tries in the quarters, semis and final of the Rugby World Cup.